All right, welcome back to another episode of Winterland. This is Fuzzfacer51, and we finally have rockets. Since we created our gunpowder machine, our creeper machine, we have loads of paper, and we can set off these rockets. They fly up in the sky. And that's only half of it, because when we get an elytra, we can use these rockets to fly, to fly around our world. Very quickly, very freely, we'll be able to fly. But for now, these rockets kind of just go up in the air. They don't even go boom, because if you have a fireworks star, you can make them explode. But you can't with these. I don't have any fireworks stars. I'd have to go to maybe a woodland mansion. Maybe a woodland mansion or the, an end, an end base. For now, we've got some good rockets, though. And I'm thinking about what we're going to make for this episode. We could make a rocket room. We could work on the iron farm. The iron farm's not working. Although this farm is, and that's good. I have high hopes for remaking the iron farm, but we're going to have to... <coughs> Make it somewhere else, maybe something like this, something out in the middle of an ocean somewhere, so we don't have any villages, any beds that might change the way it works. And I'm going to head back to the base. We're going to find something to get into there. Maybe we'll create the rocket room. I see an island in the distance. I haven't been there. I think I've been there for a little bit. Boom! We've got loads of rockets, and it's working well. We've got my boat, so we're going to just kind of hoof it today. We're walking. We're going to go slow. We're going to go slow, but then what we're going to make today, maybe we could continue that pathway to the new cave. Maybe we could tear down the current iron farm since it's not working. Go out hunting for Endermen so that we can get closer to getting to the end. And the end cities. Oh, there's an Enderman now. Why don't we just take his Ender Pearl? And where'd he go? Let's just look at him. Whoop, here he comes. Oh, he's frozen in shock when I slap him. Oh, he's going away. Don't fall. No pearl. No pearl. But luck. But luck. That'll stay there for now. This side will be cleaned up. It needs a lot of work. I'm going to say. Quite a lot. And let's pull out a, the old map. Let's pull out a good map. And start exploring the area. Because we went on, on a map adventure, but we lost that map. And we've got to save it. We'll get a cartography table. And see what we can make as far as the map goes but we're gonna need some more iron we'll need more iron to make a compass or we can make a map we completely cleared that island of trees we've got a compass and now we're going to make a map out of the compass so we put the compass in the middle we surround it with paper Perfect, we have eight. And check, 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 we've got an empty map. Look, like a look. This is what we've built so far. Mighty, mighty map here we have. We'll create more with the paper we have. Round and round we go, another map we make, and hey, there we go. Bigger, 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 bigger. Even bigger. Even bigger. And here we go. I think that's as big as it gets. First, I'm going to start by going out to both of our both of our locations on the ice roads. And here we are. Every little map we have here. You can see how far, how far away it is. Quite far. Let's get on the boat. I don't know back. This creeper wants a piece of the action. Get out of here. Here we are. We're already back at the base. 
the home stop. Now we are going to go to the village. And see where that is in relation to the whole map. The village is where the librarian is and where we keep our trader. The ice road is not finished, but we're going to go this way. Aha! I see where we are. Okay, here we go. This is almost off the edge of the map we have. Aha! And we finally found our bees. And we finally found the bees we need to keep our bee farm going. This is great. This is pretty good. So I'm going to... I'm going to just wait till night. Grab a few of these flowers. We're going to make a journey back to the base from here and bring back the bees. The bee farm is back. The bee farm is back, Winterlanders. The bee farm is back. All right. We're going to lay down on the bed, cook up some steaks and pork steaks, that is. We're going to cook up some pork steaks and travel all day tomorrow in the Minecraft world tomorrow to the base to our home and we're going to put our bees back get the bees back putting the coal in we are putting the sticks in and we're going to sleep because I don't want any skeletons or any zombies to come and attack us at this kind of time we're going to take our bed and simply wait for now because our pork is still cooking and let's just see if these these bees like the flowers indeed they do and we cannot destroy the the beehive do i hear anything i don't hear that the bees are in there i saw two i really need two because then we can breed them and we'll just wait for the bee to come out if we have to sleep again, we'll have to sleep again. There it goes. There it goes. There it goes. Okay, okay. We're on our way. We're just going to destroy this. And if I had leads, I'd put them on you, but I don't have any leads. I think it's time we destroy this. Take all we got back. And you'll follow the flowers that I put in my offhand. So let's just go. We're going back with our bees. If we have to... We'll sleep. We'll create an enclosure for our bees. You are ready to go, aren't you? You're ready to go with your honey dripping. Drip, drip, drip. Let's go. It's almost It's going to be dusk soon. It's going to be dusk. We're going to have to sleep. So we're only about halfway there. And this seems like a good place to sleep. So that's what we're going to do. Now our bees are completely closed in. Ha <laughs> ha. Perfect. And we'll sleep for the day. We're getting home today. Oh! Oh no! Bees angry now. Don't sting me or you're gonna perish. You'll perish. Okay, okay, no red eyes. Maybe they just need to cool off. And they're happy again. And they're happy again. Good. Oh my gosh, I thought I lost my two bees. I saved you. You were about to sting me. But at the at the last moment they realized their their best interests were with me. It's like vampires out of a vampire movie. Resist the temptation to sting me. I know you're good. I know you're good. I just I just uh I don't know how I feel about bringing these bees into my base with their aggressive their aggressive capabilities wild you are wild bees it's gonna be all right though it'll be all right and soon it will be evening we must go we must go we must beat the zombies in the snow ah we have found a base. Yes, bees, you are welcome. You are welcome. 
Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go. Might sound corny, but the bees are back. The bees are back. The bees are back. Right here. Oh, please, after you. Yes, go ahead. This is your new place. This is your new home. Make yourself comfortable. Perfect. Excellent bees. Excellent little bees in their little home. And I know you're both in there. I'm just going to wait for you to come out. We breeded these bees, and now there's a baby bee here. You can see there's three, and that's perfect because now we won't run out of bees. And maybe we can even create a bigger beehive, something like a dome that's going to be perfect for our bees. I'm telling you, this is great. We've got three bees now, and now we can harvest the honey with shears. And since the honey is dripping from the box, all I got to do is shear it. And there goes the honeycomb. And I've got honeycomb. Perfect. What can we do with this? Can we make a honey block? Honeycomb block. Four. I'll need four before I can make a honeycomb block. Uh, honey, 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 honey. Great. I'm happy with our bee. Our beehive. We've got a good bee enclosure here. Live long, bees. And let's not forget that we can make blocks of honey. I have been waiting and waiting, and every so often this honey gets full, and it starts to drip the honey over the side. Bees come out periodically, and they pollinate their stingers with all the pollen. We go back into the hive like they just did and they create the honey but it takes a while and I've harvested four of them one two three four we just put these four like this and we got a honey block and these honey blocks are for the flying machines um, as well as many other things oh okay okay I think the thing is the thing is is that honey it's sticky, so it probably wants to grab onto whatever it is. It's slime that will make you bounce. And so this this is holding on to me as I jump. I can't jump high because I'm standing on this slime block. If I move over here, see, I can jump so high. So there is a unique characteristic about it, but it's not what we thought it was. It's not going to allow us to jump with bounce. That's the slime ball. And this is just the honey. It kind of keeps me stuck in the honey, you'd say. And if I mine this, will it break into a slime block? Yes, I got my slime block. Slime block back. Great. And we'll save that for now. Save it for another project and another episode. We have found good bees. We have found bees. We have made the honey block that we need. We can now make waxed copper. We can make candles. And we can make honey blocks to create flying machines with pistons, if we so choose. This is a great achievement. Maybe we'll expand our honey farm. Maybe we'll make it a little bit bigger. But for now, these bees are in this enclosure. We've got three, and the more bees we have, the more we'll be able to breed them. So the bee farm is going to be growing fast as soon as we get to breeding with them. I think that's going to be it for this episode, and I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click the notification bell icon if you want to get updates about these Minecraft videos. This is FuzzFacer51 signing off, and I will see y'all in the next one.